wonderful day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Can I get a yay, man? Once again, I'm here to bring you the good word brought to you by America's Reverend, the chosen one, the blessed one, the man whose hand is guided by the big man's hand upstairs. Now tonight, I've got an extra special show for the congregation, huh, tonight? Y'all yeah. know I got a little stroke huh, in the back, and I pulled some strings, and tonight, I have the OVW Heavyweight Champion, Rockstar Ryan Howe, coming out tonight. But before, yeah, I know, I know, but he is the champion, and for once, perhaps he's earned a place on the good word. But before then, let me just remind you that Triple R Ministries is still presenting new t-shirts. You can go. All right, yeah. here he comes. This is who everybody came to see. It's wrestling rock star, Ryan Howe. Having a good authority, no one came to see this or hear this or have to bear witness to this or go through it. He's just gonna keep going. That's right, you can't stop the rock. Remember when Pearl Jam did the song Last Kiss? I wish that was me, but I wish that was his date. Then he had to kiss goodbye. Every time Ryan Howe plays. Shut up, Kennison. Shut your mouth and open your ears. You're in the presence of greatness. The greatest rock star of all time, Ryan Howe. Makes me want to fade to black. I wish you would. Ever so glad that you decided to wait for your introduction. I don't know if they had music like this in church with Reverend Ronnie. Yeah, I think actually ACDC wrote Highway to Hell about a Ryan Howe concert. It just, because it's ever going in eternal, you see. Maybe some, play some Stairway to Heaven for Reverend Ronnie. Maybe he would appreciate that a little bit more. I'm going to move to Paradise City. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Reverend. Come on, Reverend Ronnie. Forgive me if I don't touch hands with you. That's a man of the cloth. He put a guitar in his face. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Ryan Howe, champ. Yeah. If I could just have a word. Uh, Hope the belt scratches his guitar. Look. Hey. That's the greatest thing that ever got placed in that plate right there. It was guitar a guitar pick. pick for All right, Ryan Howe. okay, Mr. Rockstar Ryan Howe, champ. Can, can we please conduct this interview, please? I'll take it from here, Reverend. I'm so happy to be here, baby. I lost my voice a little at the longest concert I've ever given in Seattle, Washington yesterday, so forgive me. But the long flight here to Kansas City made it totally worth it. I love you. Kansas City. I love you, rock and roll. That's right, these people don't know where they're at either. Think the heavyweight champion will travel far and wide to be right here for these good people. Now, Reverend, I know what you're about to ask. On the first day, this is so fitting that we're here. On the first day, God gave rock and roll. And we love rock and roll! Now on the rest of the days, you know the other eight, he gave Ryan Howe, your heavyweight champion! And well, Ronnie, there's not room. You know, you're not great, so there's not room for all the greats. But that's okay. It's okay if you're not great, because I still love you, man. Thanks for having me. So, start the interview. I'm ready. Flash photography is welcome. It's welcome. I have merchandise as well. It's in front of his, and it's far more expensive. Hold on. What? I am so pleased that you came down from your rock throne huh, to mingle with the commoner such as myself. I will mingle all night long, baby! Ow! Gotta have a VIP ticket for all that. All right, so... We I saw you win pain in my head. the OVW Thank Heavyweight you. title. A fair and square, and I'm a man of the people! Man of the people, so... 
You listen to them, Ronnie! Listen to them! Can you hear it? Do you feel it? I feel it. Yes, I feel something. <laughs> I, I smell something too. But let Yay yeah, man. But let me let me ask you this. Since you seem fit to come from up high and bless us with your presence, perhaps you'd be willing to accept a, a challenge that someone threw out uh, for the OVW heavyweight title. Well, a challenge? Well, for any of the greats, are, are there any greats here? Do you know any? I, I know a guy who's pretty great. Oh, well, who? Well, I'm thinking of a guy like... Is it William Trump Shatner? Nah, not quite. A little more handsome than William Sonny? Shatner. No, I'm thinking the Triple R superstar Reverend Ronnie Roberts what? might get a little shot at the OVW Heavyweight title oh, please. since you blessed us with your presence. Now, I know I'm just a peasant. Are, are you serious? Say yeah, so this is why you brought me out here? Oh, no, I would never say one thing to someone uh, and do something uh, else behind oh, Ronnie, right. Ronnie, no pun intended, but bless your heart. Bless your heart. I don't know how to put this, but you're nobody. You've always been nobody, and you'll always be nobody. So if you think no, well, you know, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, because the kind of champion I am, I'll give you a shot. Yeah. But, but sometime down the line, we'll set up a little match where if you beat me, you can get a shot. All at right, the and right here title. tonight, you heard it tonight. No, in the main tonight. Event. For the heavyweight title! I'm not even dressed to wrestle! What do you mean tonight? I can't even speak! These people can't hear my angelic voice! Baby, you know what? So, non-title match tonight, you're gonna give a humble guy like me a non-title shot. Is that correct? I never said anything about tonight, and who are you to call shots and make matches? Well, that's kind of the thing I do around here, and I gotta tell you, you may think I'm nobody, but tonight, Mr. Nobody is going to stop the rock. Yo, yes. Now can yay I man. get a yay man? Yes, yay man, I am inspired. Come on, Kennedy, you know you can't stop the rock. Bring that plane over here. I'm going to give you all of my money. Not rubber, Ronnie. Not anybody. Stop. Nobody can stop the rock. Stop the rock. Vanish the rock. The AG double hockey sticks with the rock. Reverend Ronnie Roberts in the main event against OVW heavyweight champion Ryan Howe. Who will fill the spirit channel? See the superstars of OVW Wrestling live when they come to your town. Oh my god! Omar Amir, Jesse Goddard. Because I'm better than all of you, and I'll show you! The legacy of brutality. Oh. OVW Super Heavyweight Dimes, Dustin Jackson. The man of the people! Cal Hero. That's gotta be it! The Tate Twins, and many more. Log on to OVWrestling.com to find out when we're coming to your town. Don't miss the superstars of OVW live. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Here, backhand, nobody home. He's got him up again, but again, can he support all that weight with that hurt leg? One nice stand, power slam, got him laid out, got him laid out. There we go. Here's your winner, Luscious Morris. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to OVW and what a night we have had so far. We're on the road to Thanksgiving Thunder, November 23rd, and huge news. At the top of this hour, we just saw Reverend Ronnie Roberts, Ryan Howe, the main event tonight. And if Reverend Ronnie Roberts can win, I just got this from OVW management in my ear, 
he will receive an OVW Heavyweight Championship match at Thanksgiving Thunder, November 23rd. What a low-down, dirty move by Reverend Ronnie Roberts to invite Ryan Howe out here just to try to challenge him, just to try to work his way into a championship match. But I'm going to tell you this, Ryan Howe's going to have to go to confession after the beatdown that he gives the Reverend tonight. The Reverend may just stop the rock, and I gotta tell you, I'm gonna put so much in his collection plate if he does. But anyway, that's not the only match we're gonna see. We're gonna see Damian Chambers go one on one with Rush Division champion Gustavo, a match that has night, match of the night written all over it. But we got a couple other matches before then, Shannon. As yeah. much as I love standing next to you, I think we got some fighting. So, Miss Linda, if you would, my man, oh. Wool Man, tell him who's fighting. You got it, Brian. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Bellevue, Ohio, she's the daughter of a thousand maniacs, Shauna Reed. She's got the mask. She's, got, she's called the daughter of a thousand maniacs. You don't have to give her nightmare-inducing music, too. Shauna Reed making her way to the ring and oh. striking fear into everyone here in Davis Arena. Oh. That's just creepy right there, Kittison. And her opponent from the 412, Danny Moe. Danny Moe, the neon blonde, not a woman who scares easy, Shannon. So, John and Reed, daughter of a thousand maniacs, may you want to play her, play her mind game. But it's hard to get to the mind of a Danny Mo. Oh, I just can't get past that creepy entrance there for Shauna Reed. And it's a hard thing to get over, and I think that's part of her psychological battle with her opponents. But Danny Mo again, doesn't shake easily. A former OVW women's champion, a heck of a competitor, is Danny Mo. Got win after win after win here. You gotta think Shauna Reed is aware of the history that Danny Moe has here. Wants to pick up a big win over a big star in the OVW women's division. No doubt, Danny Moe's got a big name here at OVW. Been around for quite some time. Been to the top of the OVW women's division, but she's trying to get back up there to the top. She's got a long way to go. Shoulder block there, long way to go. Down, Danny Moe's in the back of the line again. You know, you lose, you go to the back of the line. I'm not saying I would never say Danny Moe's in the back of the line. OVW management knows what they have on their hands with Danny Moe, an incredible competitor, but we have a very competitive OVW women's division right now. We got Hollywood Haley J, Freya the Slayer, Double A Ari Alexander, Hollywood Haley J, all waiting in the wings. What oh. a shot at Sierra, the OVW women's champion. And now we got Shauna Reed out here looking very impressive. Oh, Kip up there from Danny Moe. Joe and I still got plenty of fight left trying to get in the mind of the mind game queen, Shauna Reed. I don't think you can get in the mind of a psycho like Shauna Reed, right? Shannon, I saw her backstage just staring at us into the distance. There, I don't think there was anything there other than malice. Shauna Reed is, is a scary individual, but Dana Reed, again, does not shake easy. Going to bring 110% to the fight every time, and that's what's got her to the top of the ladder. Yeah, Shauna Reed, she's got a lot of friends, but they're all imaginary, unfortunately. Speaking of imaginary friends, a Friendsgiving, if you will, on November 23rd. Thanksgiving Thunder here at Davis Arena, folks. It's going to be a live Tuesday show. We're going to film it. And then on Thursday, you can watch on WBNI here in Louisville or on Fight Around the World. Thanksgiving Thunder. Look out here. Oh, Ooh, it's going to be two hours of gobble knocking fun. You're not going to miss it. Oh, a big boot to the face there of Danny Moe, Shauna Reed, maybe punching her ticket to Thanksgiving Thunder, which you can buy yours at obwrestling.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well so you can be updated as matches as they are made. We already know we're gonna see, we're gonna see Gustavo versus Star Rider in an Iron Man match for the Rush Vision Championship. We're gonna see Tony Bizzo put Haley J's managerial services on the line against Luscious Swords for that Kentucky Heavyweight title. And, and don't forget about beginning. and don't forget about dark clouds and fanny pack party as well. Shannon, you're absolutely right. OVW Tag Team Championships are on the line, and so is the 2021 Nightmare Cup. Turns out it's transferable. Who knew? Apparently, dark clouds, because we're gonna have a tag team uh -oh, title wait match. A Hold on. You mentioned Freya the Slayer. We got company oh, out here. I don't think this match is transferable either. Oh, but Freya the Slayer taking out both competitors, coming in like an iceberg and wrecking house. Oh, Shauna Reed might want to call some of those thousand maniacs because she's got one in the ring with her right now. Oh, God. A thousand and one. Oh. Samoan slam. Samoan dropped her. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, not even Samoan dropped. She just tossed her over. Brave Shades the of, just in here cleaning house. Shades of Scott Hall, but a lot scarier. Hold on. Danny Moe able to get out of it. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Danny wow. Moe, what the hell? Danny Moe! I don't know if I've ever seen that happen to Freya. I don't think I have either. The referee has Freya. declared this match as a no contest. Trying to find a way contest. back in here wants to rip Danny Moe apart. And Danny Moe trying to oblige. What the? Danny Moe not breaking down. Not backing down at all from the Queen of the North. Freya, the Slayers want to put Danny Moe on ice. This is incredible. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything, and I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about Elite Rehab Placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention, and they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Want to be the next superstar in wrestling? You need to learn the right way. Do it by attending the Harvard of Pro Wrestling and Sports Entertainment, OVW, and the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. Our past students include movie stars like John Cena and Dave Bautista, top wrestlers like Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and The Miz, vice presidents like Cody Rhodes, and Hall of Famers like Mark Henry and Beth Phoenix. Want to be in that kind of company? Visit alsnowacademy.com and apply today. The following contest is a non-title match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, Damian Chambers! Shannon Damian Chambers making his way to the beautiful lights of DC Productions, making his way back to Davis Arena, and what a serious look of intent he has on his face. Damian Chambers has all the tools to build the set, Shannon. He's just trying to get some attention here. Yeah, Damian Chambers and his opponent, somebody's head off tonight. Hailing from Honduras, he is your OVW Rush Division Champion, Muy Guapo Gustavo. Bravo, handing out the roses to his ladies at ringside. The OVW faithful, especially the OVW female audience, love Gustavo, Shannon. Yeah, what do they know? They know he's the Rush Division champion. They know he gives it his all every single night. They know tonight he's got a heck of a match in front of him. Damian Chambers. Well, I know something, and that's Gustavo better be holding tight to that Rush Division champion because this man right here coming out is going to be taking that away from him coming up on our Thursday big event on the 23rd. Self-proclaimed star of the show, Star Rider, making his way to the commentary table. Maybe want to have a little chat here. That's right. Hi, guys. How are you? Star, star of the show here. Star of the show. Star Rider, welcome to the desk, my man. Uh, I see, see you out here. You have issues with Gustavo as of late. I mean, are you out here scouting, getting ready for Thanksgiving Thunder, your big Iron Man match? Yeah, why not, huh? But I don't need to. I'm the star of the show. I know everything about this man. He used to be a brother to me, used to being the key word. How about how Gustavo just turned his back on you, Star Rider? You two, like I you like, said, you've known uh, each other for so long, and he just turned his back on you. This is his fault. This is his fault. He says, I have the ego. No, he's got the ego. You know, me and him used to sit backstage in the locker room together, but now I have to sit on the completely other side of the locker room because his head takes up so much space back there. Oh, come on. I mean, Star Rider, I mean, you guys are like, oh, there we go. Damian Chambers trying to go over on Gustavo here. But Star Rider, okay, yes, you guys have had your instances of late. You're not as close as you used to be. You can't say Gustavo hasn't earned his spot as a Russian business champion. I mean, he's got a couple wins over you, my man. I've never seen your eyes before. Kenneth, you, you better watch what the... you say. Star Rider may knock you into next week. Yeah, That's no, right. I, that was the deepest I'm stare. The I'm the star of the show. Just know that Gustavo is not. There's a reason I'm the second longest reigning Rush Division champion in the history of OVW. Hey, to the it. 23rd, I'm taking it back and I'm becoming a two-time Rush Division champion. That's ooh, right. Ooh. You go ahead and tell Gustavo to shine that title up real nice when he hands it over to That's you. That's exactly right. Star Rider, exactly I, can, right. I can tell by the tone of your voice, it's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a gobble knocker of a match of that Iron Man match. 30 minutes, you guys can fight each other as much as you want, and one of you guys is going to rock out the Come Rush on. Division champion. No, don't focus on me. Focus on him. Focus on Chambers out now, there, Goose. Do that in, Star Rider. Are you going to be able to focus? I mean, you guys have a lot of emotion, a lot, a, 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 a lot of aggression built up in this feud. Are you going to be able to focus come Thanksgiving Thunder? Don't you worry about me. I've been preparing and training like no other, getting ready for this 30-man oh, oh. match. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. Good job, Chambers. Good job. That's a little Chambers. preview of what Star Rider is going to do to exactly. the Scavo. Exactly. Exactly. Chambers keeps eating chops like that. There might be not, might, not be, might be much for you at Thanksgiving Thunder. You might be getting leftovers, Star Rider. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Head scissors. Gustavo back into this. I'm going to tell you, Gustavo better bring his dancing shoes coming up on that Iron Man match because he's going to need them. I don't know if he can go 30 minutes with this man right here to my right. He can't. He no, so, can't. Star Rider. It's not about dancing. Don't worry about me. Worry about Chambers. Worry about him in the ring, would you? Come on. Don't take your... Oh, you took your eyes off him. Oh, yes, oh that's oh. what happens. That's what happens he took when you his take your eyes. Prize. Exactly. Gust that's what happens. Gustavo distracted and sit right into that turnbuckle. Now, Star Rider, I mean, no disrespect when I say this, but you say you're going to win your title back. You say you're going to beat him. Gustavo has a handful of victories over you. I mean, he's defended the title successfully against you. What are you bringing different to the table this time? What are you bringing different to the Iron Man match? Like I said, there's a reason I'm the second longest reigning Rush Division champion in the history of OVW. I beat Gustavo plenty of times when I was the Rush Division champion. One night, one lucky night out of 365 days does not make you a champion. It makes him lucky. Star Rider, you, you, you know what? On November 23rd, you get the chance to back those words up, because it's another day in those 365, and better lucky than good. You can win the oh. championship in that Iron Man match. I just wonder what kind of condition Gustavo is even going to be going into that match, because this might be it right here. Chambers rolls him up tight. Ooh. Damian Chambers may be softening up Gustavo quite a bit for that match coming up. Let's talk about Damian Chambers for just a moment. I mean, he trains with guys like Ace Austin, some of the best in this sport. He knows his way around the ring. He's well-traveled all across the U.S. Damian Chambers is one big win away from Starfighter, arguably being in the Rush Division Championship uh, conversation with you. Hey, if he does, he does. But right now, he's just working over Gustavo, wearing him down. No matter who wins, no matter who comes out on top, Star Rider, the star of the show, will always come out on top of the Rush division. This is my division. I put this division on my back for nearly five months. And Gustavo stole that from me, and on the 23rd, I'm taking it back. Gustavo this is my trying to division. take this match back. No, star Mr. Ryder, I mean, no disrespect, but your, your opponent for no Thanksgiving Thunder is right now taking it to Damian Chambers, and hold on. Uh oh, as you were saying, Kenneth, I think you spoke too oh, soon. Neck breaker. Uh oh. Gustavo may have nothing left for that Iron Man matchup. Hold on. Hey, oh. Two and a half. Again, just like Star Rider was saying, Gustavo was lucky to kick out. He was lucky to kick out of that right there. This one should have been over. Now, she, now Star Rider, he, I'm sure you've heard me say it here a million times. Gustavo's got heart so big, I don't know how he fits it into the arena. How are you going to counter that? How are you going to counter the grit and the determination that Gustavo was just made by, the held together by? You don't think I have heart and determination just like Gustavo? Me and him, we used to be brothers. We were like family. Ooh, you got yes, I know that man. My, I know him like my Damian own brother. Chambers family might have felt that one. Ooh. He got him. He got him. Your winner of this match, Gustavo. To the arena isn't because of his big heart, it's because of his big ego. That's right, he's got a huge ego, bigger than his heart, and that's saying something. And that's Star saying something. Star Rider, you got a chance to build your own ego and shut your stop up November 23rd at Thanksgiving Thunder. Come on, Gustavo, come on. Oh, you got lucky right there, huh? Hold on, Star Rider, headset down. I he's think done the, playing around. I think the talk is over. These two are about to. Throw it out right here in front of us. These two may not wait till Thanksgiving time. They may, they may start the Iron Man match right now. It might be a two-week Iron Man match. And I'm here for it. I am a non-attorney spokesperson representing a team of lawyers who've helped people that have been injured or wronged. Did you serve in the military from 2003 to 2015? And are you suffering from hearing loss or tinnitus? Then pay close attention to this message. Due to a faulty design, the earplugs worn by soldiers like you serving their country could not maintain a tight seal, exposing the soldiers using them to dangerously loud sounds. Does that sound familiar? to you, 3M, the manufacturer of these earplugs, has agreed to pay $9.1 million to soldiers who've used them from 2003 to 2015 and are having hearing problems. And remember, by filing this claim, you will not impact your VA benefits. Call the legal helpline right now. You could receive a free cash award and have your medical expenses covered. And there's no upfront cost to you. They only get paid if you win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing first, from Indianapolis, Indiana, end of the world, Jake Oman. Jake Oman making his return to the black and yellow brand, a world-traveled competitor, a guy who knows his way around the squared circle, really knows how to fight anywhere, Shannon. Just from head to toe, a trained weapon is Jake Oman. And his opponent already in the ring, from Louisville, Kentucky, the Hornet. Freddie Hudson. Jake Oman is a guy who can come out here and just straight up beat you down. It's not always pretty, but it's not about being pretty. It's not about style points. It's about victories. And Jake Oman has a lot of them in the win column here in OVW. Freddie Hudson is no pushover, Shannon, a veteran of the Louisville professional wrestling scene. But I got to tell you, Jake Oman, one of the finest in the sport in the world, goes overseas and teaches other people how to be a professional wrestler. This guy is the sport inside and out. And again, a trained weapon from head to toe. Well, it looks, like he's, looks like he's getting kind of schooled right now, though, himself. He looks a little more like the student than the teacher. We, I mean, Freddie Hudson coming out with a head full of steam, knows the kind of competitor Jake Owen is, knows he can't give him a moment to build momentum. Nope, Freddie Hudson was looking for a suplex there, looks like, but Jake Owen able to get out of him. A couple knees to the midsection here. Look at the aggression, the viciousness oh. of Jake Oman not allowing Freddie Hudson to even get an inch away. That's exactly what I was talking about at the start of the match. Oh! Oh! What a chop right through the chest of Freddie Hudson takes him down to a knee. And she, what it is about Jake Oman is the intent, it's the aggression, the authority he oh. Oh, has whenever he enters the ring. You know you're dealing with someone special. It passes the airport test, does Jake Oman. He is always on level 10. Oh, oh. as you see right there. Fully on display. T-bone suplex. Oh. oh, God. What a meaty two-bone suplex right onto the bone of Freddie Hudson. That bone being his spine. And now Jake Oman going right back to the attack. Oh, look at the aggressiveness. Again, that, again that's the, the approach of a Jake Oman. You keep beating your opponent down. Don't give him a moment to breathe. Just attack, attack, attack. And then attack again. Well, that's what he's doing right now to poor Freddie Hudson. Watch out here. Oh. Ooh, backbreaker. And shit, with every maneuver, you see a little, a slight international variation. I mean, he's learned how to fight all over the world. Picks up tricks of the trade. Oh. So many different cultures has Jake Oman. He can attack you from any angle. Ooh, oh, what makes him so dangerous? Shining wizard might be enough. What kind of culture is that from? Wizard culture. Oh, that's it. Your winner of this match, Jake Oh. Once again. He's the man of a million flags, Shannon, and right now all of them are waving after the victory from Jake Oman, making quick work of Freddie Hudson. Davis Arena, big win. Jake, can I get you over here for just a second, my friend? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, the end of the world, Jake Oman. Jake, I know you're a world traveler. I know that's what you've been doing your entire career, and you haven't been here for two months. So uh, you, you're up to 19 countries now that you've wrestled in. Tell us, what have you been doing while you're away? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. I always love it when I can go international. Uh, this most recent trip, I went to Finland, Spain. I went to Romania. International superstar, man. Uh, I'd like to think so, you see. Oh, wait a minute. What? Here's somebody everybody really wants to talk to. So, I'm sorry. I'm I think sorry. just jealous they saw somebody talking about somebody else. What hey. I'm saying. It's Mr. Pectacular. It's the National Heavyweight Champion. It's Jesse Goddard. I'm still going to talk to you about Everybody taking my, my voice for his music. You <laughs> uh, said uh, international superstar, network superstar. huh? I thought I heard something in the back that was a little disrespectful. Yeah, that was uh, disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, follow me to the ring. <clears throat> Get out of the way, oh, Chuck. Come on. So, let me get this straight. International superstar like what? Canada? Mexico? Huh? Let me ask. Fantastic wrestling. Tokyo, Canada, Japan. Canada, Mexico. Huh? Have you, Shut up. Have you gone to uh, Finland, Australia, New Zealand? Any of these places? Any of these third world countries? Wow. A third world country. That's worse than here, but guess what? What country is number one? You guessed it, the good old red, white, and blue. The United States of America. Where I am the face that runs the place. 
the national OVW heavyweight champion, the only champion that matters. There you go. Take a look at that. Yes, so you know what? You can sit there, you can sit there and take a nice little peek as to what a real champion can do. So bring out my competition. Bring out your notebook. Take some notes. Jacob Omen. Actually took you a little while to beat your opponent. Well, here we go. Mr. Spectacular is ready to go tonight. Coming to the ring. Spectacular versus From Paragon the here. From City. Almost in spite of Jake Omen. Paragon! Your, uh, your client's letting his jealousy show a little bit here, Shannon. Someone just, Eric just mentioned Jake Omen being an international superstar. Jesse got his feelings hurt. What are you talking about? There's not a jealous bone in Jesse's body. Yeah, there's a few jealous bones in there. That's what, yeah, I agree. He's got nothing but muscle and he's showing it right now. Oh, oh yeah. Jesse trying to send a message to Jake Omen here at the expense of Paragon. Yeah, you mentioned that Jake Omen was a teacher teaching wrestling all over the world. Well, I hope that Jake Omen's taking some notes right now. I hope he has his little sten steno pad out there with his pen, taking some notes on what a real wrestler looks like. Yeah, Jake Omen's an international wrestling instructor, but looks right now, Jesse Goddard's teaching Paragon a lesson. Oh, come on. I mean, Jesse Goddard's, the, just the ego dripping off of him, the arrogance, just it fills the arena. Why aren't these people standing up and showing some respect for Mr. Pectacular? Oh, because they don't like him. Spear there from Jesse Goddard's National Weight Champion. Well, whether you like it or not, this one's over right here. One, two, three, yeah! Look how easy he made it. That's exactly what Your he would do with Jake Goldman. the match, the OVW National Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Pectacular, Jesse. Got her! Where's my easy button? That was way too easy. Jesse got he, he must have been from here. Mexico. Yeah, what to say? Where'd you say you went? Spain? Oh, uh, listen, next week, if for some odd reason you can beat what I just did right there, that little clinic I put on, they called me Mr. Wrestling since the last Saturday Night Special. I don't know if you saw that. Maybe, maybe I'll give you a chance at facing You're me, You're Get out of here. the National OVW Heavyweight Champion. I don't think he deserves it. Hold on. I, I don't think that Jake Oman even deserves a shot at the, hey, at the just, title. Just for the track record, what was the time on that match? Timekeeper? About 30 seconds, Jesse. 55 seconds. 55 seconds! That's Guess a world record. That's a Guinness Book of World Record, everybody! Right here in the Davis Arena! Oh, come on. Try me. Try me. Spectacular laying out the challenge of Jake Oman. If Oman can beat his opponent in under 55 seconds next week, he gets the National Weight Champion shot at Thanksgiving Thunder. It'll never happen. He can never do what Jesse Gutters just did. We'll find out next week, Shannon. We'll find out. See the superstars of OVW Wrestling live when they come to your town. Oh, my God! Omar Amir, Jesse Goddard. Because I'm better than all of you, and I'll show you. The legacy of brutality. Oh. OVW Super Heavyweight Dimes, Dustin Jackson. A man of the people. Cal Hero. That's gotta be it. The Tate Twins, and many more. Log on to ovwrestling.com to find out when we're coming to your town. Don't miss the superstars of OVW live. Are you experiencing any of the following? Fatigue, less drive, Poor performance? If so, you may be one of the nearly 30 million men in the U.S. today dealing with ED. You can find out how Herbal Virility Max can help you feel like a man again. Herbal Virility Max has helped guys just like you put a smile back on their face. Call today and ask about our buy one, get one free offer. Call 855-827-5008. What a night of action it's been so far. And we're on the way to Thanksgiving Thunder November 23rd, Shannon. First of all, I just want to say, I don't think that was 55 seconds. I think that was more like 20 seconds that Jesse Goddard's just picked up the victory in. That'd be a fast clock. It's, it's weird. It's usually the opposite. You try to make it longer. Anyway, we got a lot of matches coming up for Thanksgiving Thunder. We got Fanny Pack Party defending their OVW Nightmare Cup trophy against... 
Dark Clouds and their OVW Tag Team Championships. Winners take all. Dark Clouds gracious enough to give the Fanny Pack Party yet another chance. Maybe third time's a charm, you think, for the Fanny Pack Party? I think not. Speaking of charm, a man who has no charm, Tony Bizzo, challenged Luscious Lawrence for the Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. And not only that, if Luscious Lawrence wins, he gets the managerial services of Hollywood, Haley J, and she leaves the house of Bizzo. I can't wait for Tony Bizzo to win that match. And Hollywood, Haley J, like it or not, is going to have to manage Tony Bizzo. It's going to be great. And folks, that's not all. We also have an Iron Man match for the Russia Vision Championship. 30 minutes. Gustavo and Star Rider fight until we have a definitive champion. Folks, we're on the road to Thanksgiving Thunder. Get your tickets at ovwrestling.com. But we have a huge main event tonight with Thanksgiving Thunder ramifications. Ryan Howe, Reverend Ronnie Roberts. If Robert, Robert, if Reverend Ronnie Roberts can win, he can still be the heavyweight championship at Thanksgiving Thunder. So. It's not going to happen because you can't stop The Rock. You can't stop The Rock, kid. And haven't you learned anything yet? Ronnie, for me, for everyone, please, for the love of God, stop The Rock. But all right, let's get the match on the way. Main event time, Miss Linda, my woman. Tell him who's fighting. The following contest is a non-title match. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Church of Divine Financial Salvation, the Triple R Superstar, Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Reverend Ronnie Roberts, Triple R Superstar, finds himself in a very very good situation tonight. If he can pick up a win over Ryan Howe, gets an OVW Heavyweight Championship match at Thanksgiving Thunder, November 23rd. Again, a low down dirty move by Reverend Ronnie Roberts to invite Ryan Howe out of the good word, just to simply try to work himself into a championship match against Ryan Howe. You know what, Reverend Ronnie Roberts, even if that was his ploy, he sat through Ryan Howe playing guitar. He's more than earned this opportunity. Shut up, get his up, up. listen up. Here he comes. From Rock City, Florida. He is your OVW Heavyweight Champion, Rapstar Ryan Howe! You don't have to play, Ryan. Get there, you can have a match, you can be a professional wrestler. You don't have to do two jobs anymore. I mean, would you talk over the Rolling Stones that they were out here trying to perform? Kid said, no, you wouldn't, so shut up and listen to Ryan Howe right now. No, 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 because they're real musicians. They're not. You don't call that a real musician? It's one of the greatest guitar players of all time. I call that a deluded man out here grandstanding. Look at that, he's doing the windmill. He's doing the windmill. Hendricks has got nothing on Ryan Howe. Eric Clapton, eat your heart out. Yeah, he Slash, Slash actually took guitar lessons from Ryan Howe. Do you realize that? Wow. Wow. How, how deep in the caverns do you have to go for that one, Shannon? That is... It's true. I'm almost proud of you for how ridiculous that is. I'll tell you how ridiculous this beatdown's gonna be. Here we go. It's my new favorite song. The, ch the crowd chanting, Stop the Rock. It's got a good beat to it. Well, these people know. They don't know anything. They're, they're a bunch of idiots. They can't appreciate good rock and roll, good music when they hear it. And Ryan Howe's gonna take all of his aggression out, I think, right here on the Triple R Superstar, Robert Ronnie. It's the devil's music versus the god's best friend. Reverend oh. Ronnie Roberts versus Ryan Howe in the main event, Howe. Hey. Tell the Reverend Ronnie Roberts, you pick up a win? Yeah. I'll see you for, I'll see you for the heavyweight championship at Thanksgiving Thunder. I think Ryan Howe wants an amen. Uh, I don't think he's going to be getting that, but he might be getting a butt weapon at the at courtesy of the Triple R Superstar. Now, Shane, the gravity of this match can't be lost on either man. Reverend Ronnie Roberts has not had a title match since being in OVW. This gives him an opportunity to get his first sniff at gold. Ooh, what are you talking about? He's Ooh, got that gold collection home. plate he brings out here and tries to take money from everybody in the crowd every week. I'm not trying to disparage the Reverend. I don't think that's real gold. I think it's, it's gold plated maybe. But Ryan Howe, though, also realizes he's a fresh OVW heavyweight champion. He doesn't want to defend that title any more than he has to. But if Reverend Ronnie Roberts picks up the win, Howe defends that title at Thanksgiving Thunder. 
The folks of these people out here again, trying to get into the head of Ryan Howe. But, but Howe is a, is a, is a mountain to climb. I'll give you that shit. He's oh. been on win after win oh. after win. He's, had a, he's been lucky as of late. He's been good as of late, but Howe, it becomes more than being good. It becomes more than being lucky to hold on to the OVW Heavyweight Championship. You have to be better than good, and you have to be better than good every night. Oh, here we go. Roll up from Ronnie Roberts. Here we go. Oh, oh. man. Reverend Ronnie Roberts almost punched his ticket to Thanksgiving Thunder there. That was a little too close for comfort, Ryan. That would explain why Ryan Howe's so uncomfortable. Reverend Ronnie Roberts trying to get back out there, but oh, hold on. Hold on. What's happening? Got him hung up on the ropes. Oh, that's removed right there from Ryan Howe. He lured Reverend Ronnie Roberts right into his trap. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. Then Howe right back in on the attack, dropping that thigh into the face of Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Oh! oh. I, I mean, Ryan Howe, I'll give it to him, Shane. He's a veteran. He's an OVW heavyweight champion. He, he knows his way around the squared circle. Very, very inept at the sport. But he's also, he's fighting style sometimes. Look at this frantic, paranoid nature. He's like a cat in a box being shaken up. I think Reverend Ronnie Roberts is being shaken up right now. Ryan Howe just wrenching in right now. Reverend Ronnie Roberts in trouble here. Middle of the rings. Couldn't be further away from the ropes if you tried. I don't think that Reverend Ronnie stands a prayer tonight. Reverend Ronnie Roberts, Shannon, he's a competitor with momentum, with explosive power. And Ryan Howe trying to eliminate that possibility, trying to take out the legs and the conveyance here of Reverend Ronnie Roberts. I can tell you that Reverend Ronnie really thinks Ooh. that he can beat Ryan Howe. He's gonna need some divine intervention in this match. Howe. Is this not happening? It is not gonna happen. Oh. I'm saying both men starting this match out a little bit slow. We're not seeing a lot of big risks being taken here. Both guys trying to feel each other out. And both have a little bit of Look history with the other one, Shane. Yeah. How trying to hit him like a bass drum, but Reverend Ronnie Roberts able to stop him. Nope. Oh, come on. Yeah. Thumb to the eye right in front of the referee. One of the best offensive moves of all time. How do you defend against something like that? Shane Ryan Howe's not careful. He could get disqualified, and then Reverend Ronnie Roberts moves on to Thanksgiving Thunder with an OVW Heavyweight Championship match. Reverend Ronnie Roberts is going to be saying, I was blobbing. Now I see. Or maybe he won't see after this match. Oh, there we go. Reverend Ronnie Roberts in trouble here. Ryan Howe just tossed that pick from his back pocket. I guess the referee Look at, saw what he had planned hey, here. Ryan Howe just wiped a sweat all over that rag there. Do you know how much that would go for on Amazon? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ryan Howe tries to pick up the win, folks. Our main event rolls on. We'll be right back. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I lost everything. And I still thought I was in control. And that's when a friend told me about Elite Rehab Placement. They found me a program that fit my needs. It was a small enough program that I could get that one-on-one -on -one attention. And they gave me the tools I needed to get sober. Want to be the next superstar in wrestling? You need to learn the right way. Do it by attending the Harvard of Pro Wrestling and Sports Entertainment, OVW, and the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. Our past students include movie stars like John Cena and Dave Bautista, top wrestlers like Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and The Miz, vice presidents like Cody Rhodes, and Hall of Famers like Mark Henry and Beth Phoenix. Want to be in that kind of company? Visit alsnowacademy.com and apply today. Welcome back. This main event rolls on Thanksgiving Thunder ramifications on the line. If Reverend Ronnie Roberts picks up a win, he gets an OVW Heavyweight Championship match November 23rd at Thanksgiving Thunder. And the Reverend is taking it to Ryan Howe, but right now Ryan Howe has got Ronnie Roberts in a, a bad predicament. Ooh. Oh. Trying to stomp it out of the good Reverend, but Reverend holding on. Oh, takes out the legs of, of Ryan Howe. Reverend Ronnie Roberts fighting from the ground and doing a good job of it. Ryan Howe's forehead may have hit the knee of Reverend Ronnie Roberts on the way down as well. Oh, there you go. Ryan Howe right back on the attack, though, taking out those legs of Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Like I said earlier, Shannon, I mean, Ryan Howe's personality might be a, a cat shaken up in a box, a frantic, paranoid, a little crazy, but he's adept in the ring. He's very skillful. He knows what he's doing. He's a veteran. He knows how to pick up a win. He's and he's a great musician as well, Kenneth, so don't forget that. Oh! Ooh! And a hell of a fighter. Across the throat there, Reverend Ronnie Roberts. 
Again, Ryan Howe knows his way around, knows all the tricks of the trade. They might be enough to get him a win. Ooh. Two and a half, Reverend Ronnie Roberts kicking out, knows what's on the line here, Shannon. Yeah, Reverend Ronnie Roberts has not had many opportunities in a championship match, but here he is right now. This is a huge opportunity for him. Can he take advantage? Can he make it count? I'm sure both men before this match backstage say in their prayers. I mean, again, huge Thanksgiving Thunder ramifications on the line here. And folks, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can at ovwrestling.com. Tickets are on sale. If you can't be here live in Louisville, Davis Arena on November 23rd for Thanksgiving Thunder, that's okay. On Thanksgiving Day on Fight TV and WBNA here in Louisville, you can watch at 7 to 9 Central Standard Time, Thanksgiving Thunder. Are we going to see Reverend Ryan Roberts get his first OVW oh. Heavyweight Championship match that night, Shannon? Ryan Howe had that one scouted. Oh! Oh! Howe goes back to the tool shed again, but this time able to get those kicks in. Reverend Ryan Roberts not able to stop him before the boot drops. Now just digging, digging that heel into the midsection, into the abdomen. Trying to dig into that appendix. Ryan Howe's been playing Reverend Ronnie Roberts like that double neck guitar all night long. Oh, here we go, pin tip. Ooh! Two there, Ryan Howe. Kind of lacks a days ago pin there. I think if you rolled him up tighter, might have a better opportunity. Well, you know, Ryan Howe's been out here. He's been entertaining the masses. He's been out in Seattle, Washington. He's been all over the world traveling, touring, entertaining people with his amazing guitar skills. And now he's entertaining everybody with his amazing wrestling skills. I don't think that's what's happening, Shannon. This crowd's literally chanting, Stop the Rock, and I don't think no. it's because they hate Dwayne Johnson. I think they're just tired of Ryan Howe and his antics. Here we go, roll up. Rolled him up tight, and Ronnie Roberts out at two again, and what a kick up there. I think Ronnie Roberts is trying to, trying to send a message with those kicks out, telling Ryan how you gotta do a lot more than that if you wanna keep the good Reverend down. And it looks like Reverend Ronnie's like channeling maybe someone from above. Maybe, maybe channeling the big man. Trying to get some divine intervention here in the main event is Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Ryan Howe playing quite the devil and digging that knee into the shoulder blades of, oh! Just re reaffirming that pressure. Shannon, that, that's a center point of the body. That's going to make it hard for Reverend Ronnie Roberts to maneuver if he gets held in that for too long. He is just stretching out the Reverend. Ronnie Roberts in a lot of pain. Roberts shaking those hands, looking like he's trying to get the spirit in him, but Ryan Howe desperately trying to hold on to it. And that knee just continuing to drive right into the spine of Reverend Ronnie Roberts. What spine he's got, Kinnison? He doesn't have a whole lot of spine. Oh, come on, Shane. Like, you know about a man that has spine. Reverend Ronnie Roberts, come here and taste the slap, or slap the taste yes, out of your mouth and into somebody else. Kinnison. Look at this. I think Reverend Ronnie Roberts has finally bit off more than he could chew. Uh -oh. He talks a good game, but he's not backing it up too much right now. Hold on. Oh, come on. Ryan Howe just dragging the referee, dragging that pick into the forehead, into the eye of Reverend Ronnie Roberts. I think that was a sour note. <laughs> Ryan Howe's entire being is a sour note. What a cheat. You're the OVW heavyweight champion. Have a little bit of respect for oh. yourself. Remember Ronnie Roberts now showing, showing the wear there from that pick to the forehead and the eye. Snapmare takeover, Ryan Howe right back to the attack. Keeping Reverend Ronnie Roberts grounded, neutralized. Hey, look, he's got that pick out again. Ryan Howe's picking and grinning. Right back to the eyes of Reverend Ronnie Howe. If you can't see, you can't fight. Ryan Howe's trying to get that disrespectful advantage over, over Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Apparently Reverend Ronnie Roberts isn't the only one in the ring who can't see. Come on, Chad. Well, I'm just saying, you can't see it, you can't call it. Are you sure that he had a pick in his hand? Oh, hold on. Reverend Ronnie Roberts is sure because he's got it right in front of his face. And there we go. There we go. The official finally saw it. Wait a minute. You know how much that, that guitar pick go. would go in an auction? How just dropped him on the chin. I'm you sorry. Get, you can get $1,000 for that pick. You go pay $1,000 for it then, Shannon. You of go course. That, that is a played pick from Ryan Howe. Oh. You'd have to no. pay me to keep it. It's like a Ouija board. It's just going to bring a curse to my home. Reverend Ronnie Roberts trying to bring a curse to the championship and take it off the waist of Ryan Hell now. What's Reverend Ronnie have in mind here? Ooh, spinning back elbow there. Sends the champ to the outside. Reverend Ronnie Roberts trying to get a little momentum, trying to get this going. But again, that works to Ryan Hell's advantage. Go outside. Take a minute to regroup if you need to, champ. If Ryan Hell gets counted up, Reverend Ronnie Roberts goes to Thanksgiving Thunder with the heavyweight title match. 
I'm totally aware of how this works, Kittis, and I'm just saying that Ryan Howe wanted to go outside, maybe take a little break, take a little breather. It's a smart move. That's why he's champion. And Shannon, maybe it might be paying dividends oh. here because, oh, Reverend Ronnie Roberts went on, went going after Ryan Howe, but Howe made him pay, was able to counter. That's right, you can't stop the rock. Did you hear Ryan Howe? Yeah, I, I heard him. I've heard him for weeks. Oh, here we go. So that's it. We got a pin. That's it. Oh, Rev Ryan Roberts out at two again, holding on. Ryan Howe can't believe it. And going for another pin. Two. Oh, no. You can see the frustration just sitting in. And you can see that grit and determination of Rev Ryan Roberts coming to the forefront, trying to pull himself together here, trying to will himself to his feet. Ryan Howe's got to be wondering, what's it going to take to put away the Reverend? Oh, spinning neck breaker there. Drop the Reverend's face onto his knee. Hold on, Howe's thinking something big here. I think Ryan Howe is trying to put this one away. Howe, top rope, here we go. Oh, nobody home. Reverend Ronnie Roberts ducks under. Howe wondering, what do I have to do to put the good Reverend away? Reverend got the boot up. Working out of desperation now, Shannon. Working out. Oh no! I think Ryan House head just hit that post. How he stays to confuse. Head full of momentum into the corner. But River Ronnie able to get out of the way. <laughs> Reverend feeling it now. Coming back with the fight. Dropping some rights and lefts. Got the champion reeling here. European uppercut. Reverend Ronnie Roberts might be punching his ticket to Thanksgiving Thunder if he can keep going. That's no way to treat a rock star. Ryan. How is oh taking a beating? You gotta think each one of these strikes has November 23rd firmly behind it. Reverend Ronnie Roberts knows what's on the line here. Oh, ho, ho. drops the champ on the back of his head. Oh, dropping the leg. Reverend Ronnie Roberts feeling it now. Looking for the hand of God. Right hand Look of out, God. Red. Roberts Wait. wasn't able to get it. Oh, neck breaker from How. <laughs> Schoolboy! Schoolboy! No, no, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Ryan no Howe! Reverend Ronnie Roberts is going to take Thanksgiving Robert. Thunder! I can't believe it! I can't! Thanksgiving Thunder! We got an OVW Heavyweight Championship match!